So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple low poly soda can. By doing this, I'm going to help you practice using the hotkeys that I explained in the previous video. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit N on my keyboard to bring up this side menu here. And I'm going to go to screencast keys and turn them on. Um, screencast keys isn't a blender add-on it's an outside add-on that you have to download so um, now that I have it on you can see my keyboard and mouse clicks here okay so next I'm going to select all of these and so click on one and then hold down shift and click on the next all the way at the bottom and it will select all of them in a row and then right click and delete so now you have a clear um, viewport. Next, uh, go to Add Mesh and add a cylinder. And go into this menu here. I'm going to turn it down to 8. Um, you can turn it to 16 or something like that. I recommend staying on a multiple of 4 so that all of the corners line up on the axes. Okay, so now... I'm going to go into edit mode and make sure all is selected by all of the, actually any of these are selected, hit A to select all, and then hit S to scale, and then hit Z to scale only on the Z axis. And then you can scale it like this by dragging in and out, or you can input the value with numbers. So I'm going to just hit 2, and there we go. Next, I'm going to go into Face Select and select the top and bottom faces, Extrude and Scale on the Z axis, so ESZ. And then I'm just going to bring that out like 2, so 1.1. With both of them still selected, I'm going to hit S and then sh hold down Shift and hit Z so that you're not scaling on the Z axis, so you're scaling on the X and Y instead and bring them in 0.75. So now we have like the shape of the can. I'm going to create the top and bottom um, pieces on the can. So select both the top and bottom faces and hold down shift and hit D and then left click to enter. And that duplicates both of the faces. So then you can right click and then go down to separate and hit selection. So now you have a separate mesh for the top and bottom. So now just select one of them and then click E to extrude and 0.1 and then enter and then do the same to the bottom one E.1 enter and then select both of the bottom faces and then click I to inset and then 0.1 so that the border around it is 0.1 uh, units. Okay now hold down Z and drag your mouse to go to wireframe so that you can see inside. And then with both of these top and bottom faces selected, hit E and S and then Z so that you're only scaling on Z axis and drag it in. But don't drag it too far, drag it so it's still above this line right here. Okay, and now hit S and Shift Z so that you're not scaling on the Z axis to bring it in. Okay, so now we have the bottom lid thing is finished, so I'm going to hit, hold down Z, go into wireframe, and then select all of the bottom one, and right click and separate selection. Go back into object mode, go back into solid mode, and then select the top one, go into edit mode, select the face, I to inset, and then make a hole. And this is going to be where you sip from or where you pour from. So it's in the middle, but we kind of want it closer to the edge. So hit G and then Y so that you're moving it on only the Y axis. And bring it down close to the edge. And you can even scale it on the X a little bit to make it wider. Okay, now I'm going to hold down shift and hit D to duplicate again, and now we're moving it, so just hit Y so you're only moving it on the Y axis, and then move it right there, 
and then I'm going to hit R to rotate and then type in 90 so that it, we rotate it 90 degrees so that it's going vertically. Let's go to side view and go into wireframe and then hit E to extrude and extrude it up just a bit. So once it's like right below this line, really close to it, you can select one of the faces on the little tab thing and hit L to select a loose parts and then right click and separate selection. So now you have a separate tab. In this tab, there's like two holes on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two vertices across and hit J to join them so that it creates um, an edge across. Now select both of the faces and hit I to inset and then hit I again so that it insets individually. And then bring it in a bit and then go to side view, go into wireframe by holding down Z and then extrude it down, not all the way, just part of the way so that it looks like it's all the way. And then select these edges right here and control and B to bevel them so it's a little rounder. Make sure clamp overlap is on so that it doesn't look weird. Okay, that's good. So now it's pretty much done, but let's go back into the top uh, lid part and let's go into face select and select this opening and then I to inset and make it a thin border around and then hold down alt and click on one of the edges that joins two of the faces in a row and then it will loop select all of them. Now let's go into side view, go into wireframe and hit E to extrude down a bit so that it's kind of separated. And then there you have it. That's that's um, the finished product. If you want to see it look a little bit more contrasted, you can go up here where there are these three spheres and hit this drop down menu and go to color and instead of material, click on random. So that has random colors. And then it allows you to see the different objects. <laughs>